convoy of classic race cars recently passed through North Africa on their way to Egypt. VOH Caroline Turner has more on their rally, which its organizers say is a kind of international culture exchange. A fleet of valuable antique race cars roared into Cairo as they continued on a rally that will take them through much of Europe and the Middle East. The Rally Med Friendship Tour, a function of the Global Rally Organization, is a 19,000 kilometer journey which began in Portsmouth, England. Aston Martins, Jaguars, Austin Healy's, Mercedes and the like are on the road. Driver David Hughes, rallying with his wife Lorraine in their 1960 Rover, says a driver has to be prepared for the physical demands of the trip. It is challenging in the sense that um, you have to be organized. Uh, you have to be, um, keep yourself fit, uh, eat good food, don't get sick, keep going every day, and disciplined so that everything is in the right place, right time, and on time, so you're never, not late. While many of the classic cars are extremely valuable, the rally teams say these antiques are meant to be driven. During their stop in Cairo, they relied on the Egyptian Auto and Touring Club for help with getting their cars repaired. David Brayshaw says the biggest challenge in North Africa is the weather. Quite a challenge. Well, uh, it all depends on the weather conditions and also the road surfaces. In Egypt, the roads are generally very good, we have found, but uh, I have to say sometimes we get the sandstorms and in an open top car like that, that's a little bit of a problem. But it's enjoyable. We get there in the end. So. The next leg of the Rally Med Friendship Tour will take the teams through the Middle East and back to Europe to finish in early November in France. The journey provides a healthy dose of adventure and a chance to see some of the world's most impressive historic sites. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.